This is why recessions happen, guys. Recessions are not natural things. This is a central banking thing. You guys can see very quickly how evil this is. Let's say your economy has $100,000. Under state banking, the interest rate is 0%. The money goes down here to the people. Here's the people in the, in the economy. It cycles around. How much money is in the economy, ladies and gents? Now let's switch it to central banking. What's the interest rate? Let's make it three. $100,000 goes in the economy on central banking. How much do the people have to work with? Three grand goes off the table, and what happens to this guy? He didn't get any money, now he's a hobo. His business goes out of business. His, for, his house goes into foreclosure because there's always a short supply because that interest rate is always skimming the cream off the top. This is why recessions happen, guys. Recessions are not natural things. This is a central banking thing. Yeah, well this, so yeah, this is, this is a fake 100,000. And then they'll put another 100,000 out. That'll go down. And then this guy's missing the money. He's down too, and it goes back up. So you imagine this happens a million bajillion times. And then here's the scary part, guys. Let's say the economy gets into a tight spot. The central bankers pull all the money back, say we're not releasing any more money. Now what happens to all these loans, all these people, they're all wiped out. That's what the Great Depression was. Central bankers pulled it out, Great Depression started. So that stuff is not natural. That is all man-made. This 3% isn't leaving the money supply. That's what happens when you see people in foreclosure, you see people, you know, homeless guys, people who didn't win. It's like musical chairs, there's one less chair. And when the music stops, everyone's gotta sit down, but there's one chair missing.